Hello again, everyone. Welcome back. Well, today we are completing the review of the series called Finest Hour from Padilla. Today we look at the last installment. This is the Finest Hour Connecticut Robusto. The name, as you might remember, is taken from Winston Churchill's speech in 1940 when Great Britain was in the midst of the Second World War. Now, this cigar is the Connecticut, it uses an Ecuadorian Connecticut wrapper, a double Nicaraguan binder, and filler from Nicaragua, Dominican, and Honduran. And um, Three sizes, Robusto, Toro, and a 6x60. This looks every bit of a Connecticut, don't you think? I mean, it is light. But having one sample, as with the others, I've got to make some snap judgments. So let's see how things go. The new, actually, Padilla Finest Hour Connecticut. Well, let's get things rolling. Did I show you the density? Well, I have now. It's a nice looking cigar. It's just so light. This is a light, light, light brown. Mmm. Okay, that's right up there with an effortless draw it feels like any other robusto in the hand so it's not really much you can tell from that but the draw is effortless wow just in case you're wondering where i took Well, initially, there are some light cedar notes, average to light cream notes, quite a bit of black pepper and an earthy black coffee. Black pepper, I would I would say, is at a seven and a half. And there's a lot of earthy black coffee, but there's not any sweetness at this early juncture. Now, I'm going to come back when things settle down or the first third, whichever comes first. Okay, I'm about three-fourths of an inch, a half to three-fourths of an inch in. And finally, there is some significant sweetness and something to talk about. The cigar did not start out with much flavor at all. and taken to this point for anything to be uh, noticeable to report. There is a cedar-type flavor with a little brown sugar sweetness, some cinnamon, Cream. There's quite a bit of cream notes uh, following it. There is that large amount of black pepper and large amount of an earthy black coffee. That is what it settles down to. It's, it has sweetness, but not anything that's going to wow you at this point. But uh, it is much better at this point than it was when it started. Let's see how we do by the first third. How about that? here at the first third I'm going to remove this lower band real quickly now the sweetness has increased from the beginning it has increased at the beginning for the first half inch there was nothing at least now there is a nice tangy almost citrus sweetness it's sort of a tangy citrus cedar there is a toasted nutmeg. Have you ever heard me say that before? The nutmeg is there, but it is it has a toasted type flavor. There is some decent brown sugar now, some cinnamon. 
there is that underlying cream, still plenty of the earthy black coffee and plenty of black pepper. The cigar takes a while to ramp up. The finish is some of that nutmeg, cream, and a little brown sugar with some decent lingering black pepper. The cigar is uh, actually mild to medium at this point. It just, it just took so long to get going. And now the flavors are, are pretty good, but uh, boy, that that first for the first third, I've got to take that into account. For the first third, I would rate it at 84 because it takes forever to get to this point. Now, now from here on, if it stays like this, you can expect some better numbers. But first third, it takes it takes too long to get going. finished with the second third and the cigar is maintaining its better flavors it is a sweet cedar now plenty of brown sugar and some cinnamon underlying thread of cream but not much as you would might think there would be but not much still a lot of pepper the pepper is by far the star of the cigar in my opinion and um an earthy an earthy black coffee base the finish is unchanged. There is that uh, still that um, toasted nutmeg running through the middle there too. So, you know, maybe it's a toasted cream, but I get I'm getting toasted nutmeg. Uh, medium bodied. The cigar has definitely improved, but it's not wowing anybody. It is it is sweet now, whereas it started with nothing or almost nothing and it ramped up to the first third of having something but for the second third i would rate it at 88. it's really not too bad right now and the the strength seems to be moving up so it's be, it's the best now that it's been so i want to see if it can hold this or or what down to the end so let's wrap it up cigar burned really fast i mean for a five inch robusto 52 ring it's under an hour is a little bit quick and i didn't uh smoke it fast either i'm not a fan of that flavors here at the end are that uh sweet cedar plenty of brown sugar some cinnamon Hardly any, if any, cream. The toasted nutmeg was really decreased. The pepper was still good, and you had uh, a nice black coffee base. Medium bodied, leaning toward medium to full. The cigar really is only sweet cedar. That's really all you're going to get out of it. And a little black coffee. It's, um, the finish is unchanged, just a little more sweetness on it. Also, decent lingering black pepper. By far, the black pepper is the best thing in this cigar. But uh, it's sort of really one-dimensional almost. It's, it's, it's not anything that wows me. And um, even with the tremendous amount of sweetness, it just doesn't have anything else. 86 for the final third. It, it, this overall score is is 86 as it as it turns out 84 88 86 86 of the three by far the uh, oscuro was better much better uh, from start to finish but um, that will wrap up the series so there you have it the padilla finest hour connecticut robusto 86.